What is up everybody, Hungry Cabion here. This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. They are sponsoring us. Um, they've also given me a nice little uh, promo code. So if I want to add these to my shopping cart, yes, I want 50 Darkness Ablaze packs, please. Oh, look at that, I already have 50 in there. And I've already applied my, uh, <laughs> my uh, coupon code, Cabion5, to get 5% off. So if you're interested in codes, please check them out and tell them I sent you. What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. Uh, unbelievably, if I'm counting correctly, this is the 200th mystery pack uh, video for Pokemon cards, which is nuts. It is actually nuts. So um, before you watch this one, you should probably go back and watch the previous 199, just so you know what's going on in this one. Otherwise, you might it might be hard to follow. Uh, but anyway, I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 today. Um, I didn't really do anything special for the 200th episode. I didn't buy any like crazy expensive ones, but I did buy them until the machine ran out. So should be something good in here. That's generally the way it goes. The last one should be something good. So let's see. Um, I do kind of want to get some more expensive mystery packs. There's some that are like 30 or $50 each. Obviously that will kind of limit the amount of videos that we are putting out if we're buying such expensive ones, but I would really like to do it um, at least once. But at the moment there's like the next three months, there's three sets coming out. There's the Eevee Heroes, which I want to buy a whole bunch of. There's lots of like special products coming out soon. So I'm kind of trying to hold back to keep money for those kind of things, but eventually we will do it. But uh, let's see what we have in the first one anyway. Um, wait a minute, before I do this, let me actually get some sleeves ready to go. All right, all right, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. What can we do? Yeah, it's, all right, we got a tool scrapper. That's not bad. We've got frost moth, pretty good, but uh, reprinted. And we have a Snorlax, which is actually pretty good. These uh, Snorlax are kind of expensive. The Gorman dies one, they're like probably three, four, five bucks, depending on where you go. And that the artwork is great. I really like that. I really want to get the the English promo one where he's doing like a belly flop. That looks awesome. Uh, but that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good return. And um, we paid 500 yen each for these. So that's um, that's not bad for a 500 yen mystery pack. All right, what have we got? Ooh, all right, we might have something good here. I Like I said, I bought until the machine ran out, but I don't know which one is which, so. We'll have to see... Ho oh, ho! Oh! Hello! That is pretty nice. Okay. We have got a uh, golden Eternatus VMAX. I'm interested to see what the condition of this is like because these cards are often not so good from Shiny Star V. It actually looks pretty good though. The top looks a bit rough. But it's a, it's a kind of funny card. I have pulled one of these gold ones. It looks very glittery. And you kind of think, meh, but then when you actually look at the right angle and you see the texturing, you're like, okay, I can see what they're going for. That's pretty nice looking card. So, yes, yeah, the second one I've got, I do have Zamazenta. So, I still need to get Zacian and the regular Eternatus, but that's pretty good. I don't know if that was the last one or if maybe we got lucky and we're going to get more than one good pull. I'm not sure, but that is a really good start. Um, I was going to say, like, if you only get two cards, you tend to get something good, but this has two cards and I can see it looks just like a regular V. It's a Drapion V. And Alakazam V. Okay, so that's a bit more of a, uh, what they call a Hazard Air pack, which means like a, you, d you didn't win, you lose, <laughs> basically. So, that one is not so good. Definitely the one we got before with the... The um, Snorlax is is better. Uh, it sounds weird, but uh, it is the case. The regular Hollow is definitely better than the two Vs that we got there. 
Alright, what do we got here? Got Sable IV, okay. And another Alexam V. Alright. So we had a, a good start. The last couple. Mm -hmm. Kind of coming back down to reality a, a little bit. Okay. I mean, getting two Vs for five bucks is still okay, but um, they're not the greatest ones. Alright, looks like we got a tag team in here. We've got Nugganadal Guzzlord. Very sweet Arita artwork on that, as all the tag teams have. And, oh, okay. We've got to, uh, Amazing Rare. That is, that is a sweet looking card. I'm still kind of hoping that one day these will <laughs> increase in value because I have so many of the Amazing Rares from this set. And they cost like 90 cents to buy um, at a lot of card shops. So they're dirt cheap, but I have a lot. And I'm like hoping one day, one day they'll be worth something. Because they look awesome. They look amazing. But, oops. I don't know. I mean, I've seen recently people are trying to use the, the Waylord and it seems like it can be good. And I mean, this is, is potentially good. It just like does instant knockout, right? But you need what? A fire, a psychic, a dark, and two colorless. That's, I don't know. I'm sure people will figure out a way to do it, but it, that's kind of a tough one. All right. Oh, okay. We got a boss. It's a non-hollow boss. This is from one of the the new decks, the Venusaur or Blastoise. No, no, wait, that's a different boss. What is this boss from? This must be from the Battle Styles uh, trainer boxes. And we have got an Obstagoon Hollow. So the boss is very good. I'm going to put him in a sleeve. I'm going to put him in a, a used sleeve, but he's still uh, pretty expensive. Probably worth more than all of these Vs and GXs that we've got. So. That's a nice one. Alright, next one. What do we have here? Zamazenta, okay, not bad. And another amazing rare, Reshiram. Sweet. I don't know which one I like the best. Maybe the Velto looks the coolest. I like the swirl looking one. And um, Zamazenta. I feel like if Zamazenta hadn't been reprinted in Shiny Star V, he'd be worth a lot more now because a lot of people playing Zamazenta recently. And to be honest, like, I've always thought, like, the more and more VMAXs that come into existence, and especially once Sun and Moon rotates out, I've got to feel like he's pretty good. A lot of decks are going to be playing VMAXs, and he just doesn't take any damage from them. So, I mean, that's pretty good. And... What is it? You can get the Rusted Shield, makes him up to like 300 HP. So even if you've got like non VMAXs attacking you, you can still take a, a pretty good hit. I don't know, I feel like Zamazenta is pretty good, but it's... Even when uh, Shield came out, it was never worth anything. It was really dirt cheap, so I was kind of surprised by that. One day. Alright, we got a Phalanx. And we have got... Another Reshiram. See what I mean? They, they just, they throw this in. They're like, this is worthless. You can take it. But uh, I like them. I, I do like them. They look sweet. Okay. Phalanx in the sleeve. And, alright, what do we got here? I wish this, I should put them in something better so it's like not so easy to see. Alright, uh, we got Charizard Brexian. That's actually kind of worth a few bucks now, just because it has a Charizard on it. And uh, we got Dub Wool. He's pretty good as well. That Revenge Burst. I don't know if it's, is that the same name in English? I can't remember. But it's pretty good. Can potentially do some good damage. So if they've taken, what, five prizes from you, you can do 270. That's pretty good. And yeah, I mean, this artwork is sweet. The Charizard looks really nice on that one. But it's not particularly like a great card, I don't feel like. I tried using it in like a Reshazard deck. It, I don't know. It doesn't feel that good. Four energy, it does 180. I don't know. I know you can draw. Eh. 
I'm not the biggest fan of that, but it is popular because it's got Charizard on it, so you know. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to go this way. Alright, we got Alakazam. We've got, ooh, a level ball. Ooh, two level balls. Okay, that is nice. We'll put that there. They're worth a couple of bucks. That's nice. And we got Alakazam. I do really like Alakazam. I have, um, I don't have it anymore, but on my old Pokemon Blue game, back in the day on the Game Boy, I caught a Abra and I raised him up to level 100 Alakazam. So it's kind of one of my favorites from back in the day, from first gen. We got a reset stamp, that's pretty good actually. The alternate art one. Oh, that's actually pretty good as well. The Bronzong, right? I always forget which one's which. No, wait, Bronzo, Bronzong. I can't remember which one's which. Right, no, you don't need to sleep, but he's pretty good. Decent one. All right, we got two more to go. I think I saw something textured in this one. Could just be a VMAX. But we did just get an energy. All right, that's a good sign. Oh, okay. That is very good. That is very good. Okay. So this is from Tag All Stars. This is, you know, a good $30 to $40 card. So very nice. I've had, this is my fourth one of these I've had, I think. I pulled one in my God Pack. I pulled one from a box. Pulled one from a Mystery Pack. I really like this one. It's kind of like, um polarizing this card. Some people really like it, some people don't like it. I really like the artwork and I like this little Dedenne down here as well. I wish I could see without that on there. So we've got two very good hits. Uh, we've got the boss is pretty good. We've got a Snorlax is pretty good. So we've we got some good stuff today. All right, we got a Tapu Koko VMAX and we can go, okay, just kind of random. We've got a Buzzwell Feromosa GX. They like to just throw a couple of random, like, older GXs in there. Alright, let's move this. Put you up there. We can just start to stack these ones up. we got one more to go. So, I, I always... The one thing I do like about these mystery packs, even if you don't get anything particularly good, you still look down and you're like, I got a ton of Vs and, like, GXs and stuff. I feel like it's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, we got a lot. I'm not going to count them right now, but uh, we have a lot. All right, what is this? Oh, okay. Mr. Rhyme. Shiny boy and a professor's research. If you were a boss, I would have been very happy, but I'll take a shiny boy. I kind of feel like I have him already. Focus. But maybe not... I don't remember. I really need to get a new binder to put all these shinies in. I have so many, like, just everywhere on my desk. It's just like, shinies. Oh, that's a random pile. Okay, bad example. There was only one. But just, I've been looking around, and I'm like, what's this pile of stuff? And I just look through it, and I'm like, oh, there are so many shiny boys in there. So, hold on. This, let's try this one. Maybe this one's a bit better. Example. I'm surrounded by stacks of cards, by the way, just in case you're wondering <laughs> where I'm just pulling these from. So, just like shinies, shinies. Uh, again, oh, there's not actually that many. Anyway, take my word for it. I have a lot of them just laying around and I, I need to get a new binder. My other binders are completely full. I really need to get a new one to, ah, this is the part I was looking for. I really need to get a new one. So, the ones I was using, ah, oh, what are the name? I forget, but they don't seem to sell them in Japan anymore, so I can't get any anymore. This is, yeah, shiny, shiny, shiny. Amazing, right? Shiny, shiny. Yeah. See what I mean? I got a lot. I need to put them in a binder. At the moment, they're just kind of, oh, these are kind of random. More shinies, more shinies. They're just kind of sitting around at the moment, so, really. So I need to do something, but I don't want to put them in like just some ring binder. I like the one that I have that's like a, a nice, seems like very high quality and seems like it's very easy on the cards. There's no like rings in there to damage anything. 
So I, I need to try and get some hookups to try and get one of them. Seems like you can still get them in America and stuff, but you just can't get them. What is it? Dex Protection or something, I think it's called. D-E-X. I think that's what it was. If anyone knows where to get one from <laughs> for a reasonable price, please tell me, because I want to buy a couple. Anyway, uh, I'm rambling now. Uh, like I said, this is the 200th episode, so please watch the previous 199 just to make sure you're up to speed on what's going on. Uh, please check out the channel for more videos, as I just said. Let me know what you think. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy!